Welcome back to Daddy G Toys. This is episode two. Uh, the toy we're going to unpack and put together today is the um, Aurora, Aurora's Royal Carriage. That's hard to say. Say that three times fast. Aurora's Royal Carriage. Aurora's Royal Carriage. Aurora, Aurora, I can't do it. Aurora's Royal Carriage. This one should appeal to bunnies and princesses alike. It's kind of like a Lego Friends, but it's also kind of like a little princess thing. So all you bunnies and princesses out there uh, should pay attention. And guess what? Um, on the back, it shows she's got like a little owl friend, huh? Almost, almost like Julia, huh? She likes those owls. And Caroline likes owls too. So we're gonna open this one up and get started. Okay, we're gonna open her up. Let's see. Now, I've gotten a little smarter at this and I noticed on the back, you see there's a, right here is a little picture of a, a, a down arrow with a finger. Because I, I believe if you just push your finger in there, oh, then you can just open it right up. Does it open right up? Sort of. The answer is sort of. Okay? But I kind of like it because then it leaves the like nice picture on the front without getting all ripped up. So we have, looks like two bags in here. We got a little bag and a big bag. And then of course, the most needed thing in here is the instructions. Okay? All right, so let's get started. I think we'll do the big bag first. All right. This other, I'm just gonna dump them right out here. Okay, put the trash over there. This looks like maybe Aurora's skirt or something. That's pretty cool. And this is uh, looks like her hair. It's a very blonde hair, very different from uh, from Emma that we did yesterday. Here's her little head, and it's hard to tell in there, but she kind of has like purple eyes. They're kind of they're kind of pretty purple looking eyes. Um, and here is her torso. Kind of cool. Oh, look what I found. Her little owl friend, huh? And then there's just some like wheels. I'll move it back so you guys can see, like see my little pile of things here. So there's some dark kind of pink pieces. There's some light pink pieces. These are kind of like almost like regular type yellow pieces. Then there's some the wheels, like little fancy carriage things. There's there's more pieces in here than Emma's thing, and I and I think that's because. Emma's thing, if you looked at it, was ages four plus, and this is ages five plus. But uh, you know, this video is only for uh, five and eight year olds, so I think we're good. <clears throat> if anyone knows any five year olds, raise your hand. Anybody? I do. I know a really cute one. All right, we'll open the second bag. Oh, there is little tiny tiny things in this second bag. Like these are like almost like little crowns, you see them? But they're more kind of a decoration, I think, than like something to wear. And there's just these tiny little things. Like, this looks like almost like a the flame of a candle or something here. But, uh, and like little pink flowers. But, so, that, so, so there's definitely some <clears throat> smaller pieces and some little details that there wasn't in the, uh, the Lego Friends, the Emma's Mobile Vet Clinic. So here, okay, first thing we're gonna do is um, put Aurora together. Oh yeah, she she actually does, if you look in the picture, wear one of those little crowns. And look, you gotta put a little little um, feather cap in, in the owl or something, a little red tassel. He's got like a little fancy thing on his head. I don't know what that is, but they show it. I'm gonna put it on there. Maybe it's, maybe it's part of the story. I don't know Aurora's story all that well. So I'm gonna put her body together with her little dress. Just slides right in there. We're gonna put her noggin on there. I'm not gonna do it upside down this time. I know you guys probably thought that was funny because daddy didn't do it right. See that, okay. And her blonde hair. Oop, gotta get that all the way down so she doesn't, it doesn't fall off at a 
at a very unbecoming time. You know, she's out with friends and her hair just completely falls off. That can be embarrassing. I wouldn't want my hair to fall off when I was when I was out in public. Uh, okay, the other thing they show on, on putting her together is you actually have to put this little flower together and she holds the flower and then I gotta put the crown on. So let's find one of these flower. Okay, here's a little flower base. And then here's one of these little pink flowers, okay? Put that in. Oh, these are these are little. Daddy's hands are too big for these. See that? I'm gonna put that in her hand. She's got like a little bouquet of flowers. Maybe she just went out in the garden and picked some, or maybe someone brought her some, like a friend. Okay. Very nice. And then I'm gonna put one of these little crowns on her head. Oh, there's a little hole right in the top of her hair that's perfect for it. There, Princess Aurora, looking magnificent and royal. I'll leave her right here. This is her little owl friend. Does the owl have a name? This doesn't have any names. What sh should we name? Does the owl have a name? I kind of want to name the owl. Hootie McHooterson? Um, I don't know. Owly? There's, a whole, there's like three of these little things for his head, but only one of them needs to go. He's got this little mohawk thing. I'm going to call him Hootie McMohawk. Is his name. There's Hootie. Hootie and the Blowfish. All right. Okay, we're gonna start building the royal carriage now. Uh, that looks like the bulk of it. There's this other thing over to the side here, and I don't know what that is. It's like a maybe it's a maybe it's like a birdhouse for Hootie to live in. I don't know. Okay. Let's find the first piece to the carriage. It is this, there's actually, it's hard to tell for you guys, I think, but there's actually three different shades of pink. There's like the light pink, there's a medium pink, and then there's a dark pink, you know? And it wouldn't be a princess thing if there wasn't a lot of pink. So I totally get it. So medium pink piece is what we're starting with, like it says, okay? And then we're going to put these little white blocks on there. Let's see. Oh, they go on the bottom. They actually go on the bottom. I got to be careful. This one's, this one's tricky. Okay, there you go on the bottom here like this. Mm-hmm. Very good. Very good. And then, man, there's all, there's all kinds of little things. And this is like a... I can't tell. It honestly looks like a little toilet, but maybe it's a little cup or maybe it's a toilet. But I don't know. I don't know if it's for Hootie or for Aurora. Even princesses have to pee. Uh, that's for sure. Okay. Okay. Let's put this here. Little thing. I think this is not the carriage. I think this is that little other thing I said that is off to the side where maybe like Hootie hangs out or something. It's got a flame on the top, is what it's got, so. Oh yeah, this is the next step. Put the little flame on the top. So I don't really know what this is. It's like just some, I think it might be the royal potty. It looks like a little toilet, maybe the, the flame so you can see where you're, you know, where you're peeing and stuff or wiping, you know, all that kind of stuff. I don't know what it is, to be honest with you, but it's cool. It's got a little flame on it. So I'm gonna put that over here. It's like Hootie fell over. Oh, you know what? Is this a perch for Hootie? Oh, no, it's, I think it is a toilet. Well, I don't know. But I'm going to leave it right here with Hootie. Okay. Now on to the real magic, which is the carriage. So we're going to do the carriage. So we're going to get this long, light pink piece. And we're going to get this dark pink one. Because, oh, three holes. Okay. All right, and it actually looks like there's gonna be four of these total. So I'm gonna put these all on here. Boop, 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 like this. Looks like this is kind of the inner structure of the carriage, so to speak. Let's see. Ooh, a little more, this'll, a couple of these light pink pieces. 
I think this will give it some some more support so these things don't just pop right off. That's, that's the cool thing about Legos is some of the stuff is structural so it all goes together and some of it's decorative so it just looks cool. So you gotta kinda have a mix of both. Otherwise, you have something really pretty but it just falls apart or you have something that stays together but it's kinda ugly to look at. So gotta have both. That. Okay, these little hook things. They're also light pink, and they go in the middle like that, but they're actually gonna go on both sides like that. I wonder who's gonna get to play with this when they, when they come over. Maybe Jackson can play with the Lego's friend stuff and Caroline can play with the princess thing. Okay, all right, I think I set this piece aside for now. Put it right here. You guys can see it there behind Hootie and Aurora. And then I got a one light pink piece, and I gotta get some of these gray end pieces. Uh-huh. Very good. And then a couple more of the pink. If I can get this gray one on there, a couple more of the pink hooks. Let's see here. So now it is. Got stuff on all. I think these are like the axles right here for the wheels, it looks like. And I'm not quite sure what the hooks are for yet. Maybe. Wish we had some horses to hook up to it. Or is it supposed to be? Does it go by magic? Or does it go by internal combustion? We don't know. Okay. All right. So this now. This piece. I think this is like the symbol for. This hoogie diggy symbol just means like flip it over. That's what I'm learning. Okay. So we'll flip it over. And then this piece is going to attach right here. I don't think it matters which side because I think they're both the same right now. Eventually, I think one will be the front. And then another flip it over symbol. And two of these little light pink things with the holes in it. Okay. All right, it's got these, it's like, it's like smooth on top with two little holes in it. Okay, like that. And okay, some of these, these are kind of an interesting shape block. A couple of these go right there. Okay. All right. Oh, that didn't. That one didn't really actually go on all the way. Let's see. Now some of these are a tight fit, so now it's like this. I just put these ones on here where it's smooth. Okay. And then this piece, which is an interesting, another interesting piece, goes over where I did this, and then there's this golden. I don't know what this is going to be. It's just going to be part of something bigger or what? That goes in the middle. Princess is pink and gold. Really is princess classic color. So that goes in the middle there like that. Okay. Ooh, we're getting through here. We're on page nine already. Okay. Then these white swoopy pieces. Swoop. They go like they're going to go like right there. And another one right there. See that? Nice. Okay. Ooh, now we're going to actually get some of this fancy stuff on here. Some of these fancy things. If it can't be a royal carriage, if it's, it's gonna, they're going to slide into some of these hooks over here. Like this. Or maybe they'll just stick out like that. See that? Fancy. Woof. This is going to be some carriage. Okay. Get a second one in here. I slide those in. Now we got some royal fancy, fancy stuff. Okay. Oh, these are going to go up like this on the next page. It shows. It almost looks like it almost looks like a harp there. If there was strings there, it'd be like bling, 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 like a harp. But it's not. It's just fancy. Okay. And then there's these, these, I don't know what these are. Bumpers or something. 
if it was on the front, I would call it a cow catcher. You know what a cow catcher is? They used to have when those things on the front of the trains because they used to go through the middle of the country and there'd be cows walking around and you wouldn't, and the kid would just kind of knock the cow off instead of running it over, which the cow would rather be knocked off than ran over, I think. But these are on the side, so I don't think they're cow catchers. I think they're just, uh, I don't know, peasant buffers or something like that. They go up on the sides. It's kind of cool like this, it almost looks like a hovercraft. This looks like you could fly with it now. Okay, but we're not flying yet. This is a royal carriage, not a royal spaceship. Okay, maybe they should make royal spaceships. So these are a side thing. These are kind of cool. You can't, it's hard, hard to tell, but they're a little bit like translucent, a little like kind of see-through. See? But not quite. They're not, I wouldn't call them clear. I would call them translucent, which means light goes through, but you can't see it. Oh, and they actually have a little bit, it's hard to tell on here, but they have a little bit of like sparkle in them. And so they're going to go right here, like that. And there's one on the other side like that and see these things like these are the things i was talking about they go like up and down and i don't know what what they're gonna oh you know what they are they're like i think they're like little steps like like a princess like in a gown has to like step up into the carriage maybe that's what it's like you see those on trucks and things like that little little rails for people to step up okay Oh, and I need a little, actually I actually have a little blue piece here. I think that's gonna go right there, okay. All right, what is next? Oh, this pink piece? This looks like a kind of a roof or something, but no, you know what, maybe it's just the hood. Maybe the engine's under here. The royal carriage engine, because I don't see any horses. So this thing must have its own kind of horsepower, if you know what I mean. Maybe a big honking V8. Brum. Okay, all right, step 14. I think we're gonna set this down for a second. It wants this light pink piece. And we're gonna put the grays here. Here. Uh-huh. And again, these are, I think, gonna be the axles sticking out here where the wheels go on. Can't have a carriage without some fancy carriage wheels, but we're not there yet. So slow your roll. Okay. And then this is gonna have a gold thing where something's gonna go up and down. And another little blue piece. There's only two little blue pieces in this whole thing. I'll just put one there. Okay, that is gonna go under the, see where the hood is? Where, under, under here. This is kind of like the, uh, the engine compartment. I really think this is an internal combustion carriage. It's the only thing that makes sense at this point. Unless it's magic. If it's magic, it's magic. There's nothing you can do about that. Okay, ready to go. Step 15, here come the wheels. Okay, we're gonna get the wheels on. These are cool, cool carriage wheels. Cool. All right. Okay, wheels are on. They're all spinning, they're all nice. Smooth carriage action. Okay, oh, more fancy stuff at the end. Okay, so these things, I think go, oh, they actually go into these little hooks. And then the hooks, Clip on the front, so you get you get all kinds of fanciness. This is this is so fancy. Okay, fabulously fancy. I think even even someone like Rarity, I think, would show up in something like this. Let's see. Oh, look at that gold scroll thing. Okay. Well, that is it. I guess some of these extra pieces here are just like little. Um, accessories, but I think Aurora goes right here in the middle. 
And looks like Hootie goes, oh, Hootie has like spots here in the back that he can just chill on. And that's it. That's Aurora's Royal Carriage. Woo. I like to think it's got like a big loud engine in it, right? Like her blonde hair is blowing in the wind. It's like a convertible. Hootie's in the back. Slow down, slow down. You're scaring me. His little red thing, his little mohawk flapping in the wind. She's tearing it up. I will say these carriage wheels, not going to be that great in bad weather. Not going to have a lot of grip, but overall a beautiful Royal carriage. Thanks guys for helping me build it. Um, and I hope to see you soon to come over and play with it. I love you guys. Bye. This has been another episode of Daddy D G to Ugh. This has been another episode of Daddy G Toys. Stay tuned. To this has been another episode of Daddy G Toys. Stay tuned uh, and there'll be more toys and magic and fun to come. Love you guys and miss you all the time. Bye.